Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. So, today guys, it's MOT day for the Cougar. That's going to be first thing this morning. Once I've got back, I'll show you the results. Um, but I think we are going to work on the Toyota Argo. Um, <clears throat> going to strip off all the front end, see what's going on there, see what parts we need to, 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 to order and get. I haven't really been looking because I don't exactly know about anything about that car. Um, so, yeah, I think today, <clears throat> let's have a look at it. Let's rip it apart, take the front end off, see what's going on, see what we need, see what parts we want. Um, and, yeah, just crack on with the Toyota Argo. So let's get this one out, bring the Toyota in. Um, we'll have a quick, quick, quick chat about the front end and then we'll go for it. So let's do this. Right, so here we go, guys. I've got the Toyota Argo in the workshop. Tiny little car, these are, I know, really, really tiny. Um, but very, very popular because cheap tax, cheap insurance, cheap running cost is just, yeah. And it's five doors as well, which is crazy, but it is, you know. They do it in three doors as well, but these five doors, you can still get... Yeah, you can still get Isofix kids in the back. <laughs> they're not, you know, they're not massive, but you can still um, get, really get the family all in. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're going to make a start on this one. Done nothing to this car. So I really want to get this front end completely stripped off, see what we need, see what's going on, see what's damaged. So, um, yeah, um, I've probably got about an hour before I need to go off to take the Cougar for its MOT. So for now, let's do what we can. Um, let's get cracking. Let's do this. Right, okay. Guys, for some reason, I didn't press the button to record um, what I was doing. So I just want to quickly, you know, show you what I've been doing. Um, took the wheels off, took the bonnet off, took that headlight out. Um, now I'm just going to raise it up, take the wheel arches out, this wing's got to be removed. It's completely buckled and twisted. So that's all got to be removed and changed. This wing, I think, is okay. I've checked to make to see if it all lines up and the gaps are good. And I think it is. I think that's okay to leave as it is. Um, <clears throat> and that'll give me a good pr uh, reference point as well for the other side. So, yeah. Um, this headlight's broken and smashed as well. So that's got to come out. But it's obviously just been pushed with the slam panel and the, cr and the, and the front bumper. So we've got to get all that off. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of, <laughs> I, I thought I was recording, but obviously I wasn't recording. Um, so yeah, we'll continue with that in a second. I have actually come back from the MOT center with the Cougar. Let me show you the results on that. Um, and the guy, I said, how was the emissions, um, on this one? He said, absolutely clean. Absolutely lovely and clean. Um, he said, it, I think this one went through at 0 0.3, um, whatever the thing is, <laughs> 0 0.3. Uh, and the tolerance is like one point something. He said, so really, really clean uh, on emissions. So that's really, really good. Um, so let me show you the results. No advisories, guys. No advisories. So, yeah. But you can see that the low mileage it's been doing, 61, 65, 69, then 71. So really, really low mileage um, over the last few years. But great result. MOT done. Um, now we can uh, stick this one up for sale um, and just see what happens with that one, see what we get for it. So let's get that out of the way. Uh, that's done with. Let's continue with the Toyota Argo. Um, get that bumper off, slam panel, front panel, crash bar, all that's got to come out of the way so we can see what is going on, what's been damaged, um, and um, yeah, continue with this one. So let's do this.
Right, so that is the front end completely off. Um, removed the bumper. I've still got the, um, the original DRLs, daytime running lights, at the bottom in the bumper. Probably can use the um, spotlights as well, those, but not much else. I think even that lower grill, I don't think that's, yeah, that's completely smashed up. So we can't even use that. We could probably take out that if we do need to have a get it out, I suppose. Um, but everything else <clears throat> we need to change. But I might just get one complete bumper anyway. I don't know. At the minute, I don't know um, what's out there. But, um, yeah, let's have a look at the damage. Now, unfortunately, on this one, the slam panel is part of the actual body. Um, it's not a removable part. What I mean by that, this is the crash bar. That's held on by two bolts at the top, two bolts at the bottom. Um, <clears throat> both sides, so four bolts each side, and that crash bar completely be can can be removed. But this bit here can be removed. This this lower section can be removed. You can see it's got a bit of a twist and a bow in it, so we've got to replace that anyway. Um, it is pretty flexible, so I don't know if I'll be able to straighten it out. But I'd rather just get another one. Um, you can just undo it from the bottom here. You undo it from this, um, and that comes down. But this part, that part. This part is all one piece and it goes down from here and goes all the way up. This continues all the way over, down and down, down to the bottom here. So that slam panel kind of thing that supports the radiator and the air, con air conditioning, that's, that's connected to the actual chassis legs um, there. It's, it's all one piece. Once I remove this crash bar... I can't remove that. Um, <clears throat> so this has definitely got to go to the body shop and he will just, um, yeah, pull this back. Because because it's it's gone over the top of the crash bar. It's actually skimmed it um, and then pushed the top in. Um, <clears throat> and yeah. But from what I can see, there's no actual damage to the chassis legs. But that's again, that's going to have something that he's going to have to look at. Um, I can't remember if it's a cat S or cat N this one, so I'll have to have a look at that. Um, but yeah, you can see that it's at a sort of right angle, so it's got to be pulled over a little bit. But that point hasn't got to be pulled over straight, completely straight, because that actually, that actually does sit at an angle, that this piece here. <clears throat> so it, it actually ain't that much, if you think about it. I don't know. I don't know. But... Um, Whatever happens, this has got to go to the body shop to be pulled back, um, to be pulled forward again. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to try and remove as much as I can. So, I'm going to try and get the crash bar off, get this water container out of the way. Um, probably try and get this, I'm assuming the aircon's gone. So, we'll get the aircon out of the way. Funnily enough, the, water, the actual water um, coolant uh, radiator is still full up. So that could be okay to use, but I just we just don't know. You can see the coolant inside there, look. So it's still full up. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, you know, it is what it is. So let's continue, start stripping more things down, see how we get on, and then, um, yeah, we'll go from there. So let's do this.
Right, so guys, <clears throat> that is it. That's as far as I'm going to take this front end on this Toyota Argo. Um, so I've removed all the other bits and pieces that, that, that I'm going to remove. Um, taken away the wing. Um, easy access to the to the um, bonnet hinges now. I'm definitely going to change these hinges because I can't trust that they're in the right position. Um, <clears throat> so, it's, you know, it's worth changing them, especially this side with the wings off. It's just a lot easier. That side is just a couple of bolts. It pulls away. You can get to those two bolts and then, yeah, change the hinges. Um, but, yeah, it, it, all this is, like, flexible. Like, all these, all these brackets, like that bracket there, I don't know if you saw me messing around with that. I've just been messing around with this. Um, but like that as well, it's just, you know, they're all quite sort of easy to move. It's just that front is not going to be easy to move. So that's why it's got to go to the, um, the body shop. Spoke to the body shop guy, um, sent him some pictures. He said, look, don't go any further with it. Just leave it as it is. Um, he even said, really, I should have kept the crash bar on there as well, but you know, it's done now. <laughs> um, Telling me off he is. Um, but anyway, <laughs> don't take it any further. Leave it as it is, and it'll sort out the, the pullet and, and, and position where it needs to be. But I need to get all the other bits and pieces first before we can line it all up. So bumper, bonnet, headlights, they all need to go to the body shop to be lined up um, where it needs to go. And um, yeah, I just need to find the parts now. But at least I know, I know now what we need. Um, headlights, wing... Um, bumper, um, bonnet, obviously, bonnet hinges. That's kind of it. And then the rest can then go to the body shop. He can have it there. I don't know if anyone's noticed. It's got a Ford battery in there. Don't know why. Don't know. Oh, that's going on there, but it's, it's there anyway. But, um, so yeah. So the front end, guys, I'm going to leave as it is. But I want to carry on for now, just to finish off the day. Let's move the car over to here and then make a start on the inside, cleaning it all up, doing whatever we can. Just continue with, um, you know, what we can for now because um, this has got to go to the body shop next. So let's continue the day. Let's just see how far we get. Let's do this.
Right, okay. Let me show you what I've been doing. <laughs> so, the inside is looking a lot, lot cleaner. Um, I've done all the hoovering around underneath the seats and all that sort of stuff. Still got to wipe around the plastics. I still got to do a little bit more inside, but it's looking a lot, lot better. A lot, lot cleaner. Um, so yeah, I'm just using up the time really. Continue done up underneath in there, all, all cleaned up. So and I've started to clean up this um, moldy stuff that was hitting around the actual lip of the tailgate there. So that's looking good. Um, still got a little bit of mold on top of the roof where the rails are. Started to a little bit here. And as it goes here, you can see it just gets a little bit worse. Plus here as well. Plus obviously the car is filthy. Um, so what I want to do now is take it outside and give it a wash. Just be careful that I'm not sort of, you know, lift up the window glass, obviously. But I just want to be careful about this area here that I'm not getting any water on this bit here, do you know what I mean? So I might have to put some cardboard there or something just to cover it up. Um, but yeah, I'm just sort of trying to think of things I can do whilst, um, you know, so I can use up the rest of the day, basically, on this car. And then after today, we can take it outside um, and wait so before I can find the parts and then it has to go to the body shop to get this front sorted out. Um, so yeah, I think the next thing I wanna do really and the only thing I can do is take it outside and give it a clean because it is filthy, really, really dirty. All the inside lips and edges and stuff are just absolutely filth. So I think if I do that, <clears throat> and then that way, it just, I can, you know, see exactly what's going on with the car, um, anything else I need to do to it, stuff like that. So let me set myself up. I'll set you up outside. Let's give it a clean um, and let's see how it looks after that. So let's do this. Okay, do you know what? A nice, clean little car, actually, this is turning out to be. Not too bad whatsoever. I've still got to do the door shuts and wipe around a few bits and pieces, but this is actually, it's turning out all right. It looks really good. Um, it's not going to be as final clean. You know me, I'm definitely going to be cleaning it again. Um, but I just wanted to get rid of all that major dirt that was on, obviously on the bottoms and stuff. Um, but yeah, I just want to clean the doors. They're, they're, good. they're all right. They're not too bad door shuts, but they just need another wipe around to uh, to make sure that they're they're nice and clean, especially in there and stuff. So a little bit dirty, but yeah, not too bad. What do we think? Um, it's definitely getting there. <clears throat> just got to find the parts now. I found some, I found front bumper, um, the wing, and one headlight, um, bumper and wing in colour, and one headlight I found. Can't find a bonnet and I can't find the other headlight in a minute, <clears throat> but um, this can't go to the, bo the body shop until I've found those parts so we can use them to line them all up and make sure it's all straight. So yeah, you know, but for today, I think we're there. I can't take it any further. Um, so that's part one on this Toyota Argo done. Um, it's going to sit around for a little while until I find all the parts. But then once I've done that and then get it to the body shop, I'll let you know what's going on. I'll let you know what's happening. And then, um, yeah, I'll um, do a part two as soon as I can, basically. Um, but I need to find the parts first. 
So there we go. That's it. That's the end of today's video, guys. Don't forget to drop me a comment down below. Give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate all the support. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care and see you soon.